So what are your initial thoughts after, after that draw then? Yeah, um, happy to stop stop the run. Obviously, it's been a been a, a challenging few weeks and um, a number of defeats. And and today, coming up against a pool side who are mid table but a few games in hand, could go into the playoffs if they win those. They're a good side. Um, so yeah, delighted to stop the run. So had a couple of sparking performances today, but obviously Jordan Rod Rogers coming in for Tiverton Hat. What did you think of his his first start? Yeah, it made a massive difference for us. It it, it gave us a platform to play from. He, Big and strong, got all of the ball. He was, he's he's confident as well because he's come from he's come from a side who are doing well and playing well. He's he's, he's moved for moved for different reasons. He was playing in their side, and I think you could see the difference in his confidence levels versus some of the other players. Um, but he made a massive difference for us. Obviously, we've had so many injury problems and different problems over the last few few weeks. How how did you deal with that going to today's game? It's been it's been the same. I know I'm, every other manager probably saying the same. So I'm not the only one in this, in this situation. Um, but even even this morning on today's game, Tristan um, phoned in sick. So that's been three eight, three weeks running now where we've had a, a side picked going on going into the Saturday and something's happened. But it's just the nature of this level. Um, it'll be nice to have everybody fit and available. So we've got we have got a strong squad. Um, so obviously, going, obviously now we're in December. So many big games coming up. How do you have to use? The, the combat used the energy from that going to big games, used the positive energy. Yeah, yeah, winning breeds confidence, picking up a point is a start, hopefully that breeds some confidence. Um, massive game next week, uh, tough one, going away, to, going away to Weymouth, but it'll be one of those we got, like today, um, no, one, no one would give us a chance, writing us off, so hopefully next week they'll do the same and we can go down there and try and get something. So we have nearly 300 people who get say, how much of a big boost does that give to, to you and the players? It made a massive difference, I've got to say, an absolutely massive difference. First half, I don't think we did enough to get the fans going, second half, we stepped it up a gear, and the noise, I, I turned around to the bench and said that's the first time this season we've heard any noise here. And it, it does make a difference, it pushes you on. And you could see that at the end, we were, we were pushing on and the crowd were getting us going and we were getting them going. So we've got to do more, but it's, it was nice to see the, the fans here. So what will be your message to fans after, after that? that well, please, come and support us. Just come and support us, we're in a difficult situation. Um, we need the fans through the gate, one for income, two, to give the give the players a boost. Everybody in this community surely wants this club to stay in this league and hopefully push on. So please get behind us and support support us. Obviously, we had uh, Chris Scott, uh, uh, Chris Chris Miller, and Josh Brace came off at half time. What was what was your thoughts on that? Um, Chris Miller's picked up a, a, a little knock, um, and Josh Brace was a tactical change. Um, we wanted to get more bodies forward. Um, Ryan back came on and supported uh, support Jordan up top, and they were effective. They're two two big lads for us. The pitch wasn't really conducive for flowing football, so we played to our strengths, got it into them, and got runners off them. And it was yeah, it was a tactical tactical change. Cheers, Dan.